Investigators say Deputy Gloria Baccio was driving carelessly when she plowed into a stopped pickup truck. The crash killed a Claremont man who was behind the wheel of that truck. It happened last October, not far from Disney World. New 6 investigator Mike DeForest has been following this case since the very beginning. So, Mike, the deputy did not show up for court today. Uh, that's right. Deputy Gloria Baccio was not here at the courthouse. Instead, she allowed her attorneys to speak on her behalf. They entered a plea of no contest to careless driving. Now the deputy's driver's license has been suspended. Traffic crash investigators still do not know why Osceola County Sheriff's Deputy Gloria Baccio failed to slow down as she approached a stoplight last fall. The patrol car rear-ended a pickup truck that was stopping at the intersection, a collision that killed Walt Disney World employee Robert Johnston. I will adjudicate Ms. Baccio guilty of careless driving. That involved a fatality. Today in court, Baccio's attorney entered a plea of no contest to the traffic infraction. As punishment, the deputy will lose her driver's license for six months and she must pay a $1,000 fine. She received the penalty that most people would receive in the same type of situation. The Florida Highway Patrol says it found no evidence the patrol car had mechanical problems. Baccio claimed the brakes failed just before the crash. You break, there's no my car Even though someone was killed in this crash, the Florida Highway Patrol cited the deputy with careless driving because they say they found no indication she was doing anything else improper, such as speeding or tailgating. That's a traffic infraction with a death. None of the evidence um, for this crash investigation supported that she did anything criminal that would rise to a level of a more serious charge. Now, FHP investigators were not given access to Baccio's personal cell phone, so they do not know whether or not she may have been distracted just before that crash. Now, Baccio remains employed with the Osceola County Sheriff's Office. I'm told she's working in a non-law enforcement position with no vehicle, and she will remain in that role until the agency completes its own internal investigation. Matt and Lisa. All right, Mike. Thank you.